everyone, Bill Nichols here. Today is another video of my Phantom series, and I'm gonna show you one of the other intelligent flight modes. On my last video, which you can see if you pull over the cards on this video, look in the little information sign that's up in the upper right, or look right here, you can see a video about the intelligent flight mode that's the point of interest where you can get the Phantom to revolve a 360 around a point of interest while it's keeping the, fo the camera focused and you can change the height and the radius, the distance away from that object. Today, and I said in that video that that was one of my favorite modes, today is one of my other favorite modes. I'm gonna show you course lock. And what course lock does is course lock really helps you to get really nice cinematic shots a lot easier than you could ever do before. So previously, if I wanted to keep my Phantom as an example focused on this camera as it came by tracking, I could bring it just straight across like this, or I could point it, but then I would have to continuously move the stick so that the Phantom wouldn't move out of the same path. So where uh, the course lock mode, what it's used for, is if I wanna track, let's say horizontally along this field, I'm in the middle of a baseball field right now, I could start down here, I could have the Phantom pointed at me or at the camera, and as it comes by, I can turn the stick so that it turns, but it knows that no matter which way it's turned, that's gonna be forward, this is going to be back, that will be right, and this will be left. So if I just push forward on the stick, I can then rotate the axis around here so that the Phantom's camera stays focused on that subject. You can get really great cinematic shots that way. So that's the video for today. I'm gonna to show you the course lock. I'm gonna show it to you how you get it started on the app, how you select it, how you set your bearing, what's forward and what's back, then how you can use this mode to get great cinematic shots with your Phantom 4 and your Phantom 3. All right, so now I've got the Phantom prepped. I pulled it out, I did my inspection, it's ready to go. I've uh, got it right here in front of us. I'm going to set up course, I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna to go to, into the intelligent flight modes. I'm gonna set up course lock. I'm gonna set up a course and then demonstrate this. I'll record the video on the Phantom as well as recording my screen so that you can see it like I, like I did last time. So let's get started. This is course lock. I'm gonna show you how to get really great cinematic shots with your Phantom 4. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and take off. I've already done a calibration everything so it's ready to go. I'm gonna keep the Phantom relatively close to us. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set it so that the forward facing direction is that way. So that means that backwards will be if I pull back on the stick. If I go left on the stick, it'll go out away from us. And if I go right on the stick, it'll come towards us. I'm just gonna do some really slow tracking shots and show you how to do this. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's not hard. Uh, what I do is, you'll see on the screen, is that I put the grid lines up on my DJI app. And then I find where I am in there, and that's where I try and keep myself tracking in there so that I'm in the same place and the Phantom is just going by and keeping me right in the same place in the frame. So to start, I'm gonna go into the intelligent flight mode, which is the third icon down on the left. Well, it's the, the flight mode selector. I'm gonna then choose intelligent. And on the far right-hand side, you will see course lock. It's gonna tell me, adjust the aircraft heading and apply course lock. So I'm gonna rotate the Phantom. So I want the Phantom to be pointed pretty much straight away from us. Let's check. Okay. So now the Phantom is gonna go pretty much straight away from us. I'm going to hit apply. And then it tells you that I can reset the direction, exit this. If I hit exit, I'm gonna exit the mode or hide the pane. So I'm gonna hide the pane. And now you can see I'll rotate the Phantom back toward us. So that's rotated toward us, but now press up on the stick. And when I do, it goes forward. When I press down, it goes back. And now you can see I can rotate it any way. And if I press forward, it goes forward. If I press back, it press back. And watch as it slowly comes by us. It keeps going in the same direction. And I can just keep rotating it all the way around. Super useful mode. So let's get it back towards us. It's like right now it's pointed opposite of us. And normally if you press forward, it would be going that way, but instead it's going off here to our right. So I'm gonna get it a little bit away from us. And I'm gonna adjust myself in the frame and the camera. So I'm just gonna put us right in the middle. I'm gonna start this going. So it's gonna now move back. I'm gonna pull backwards so it's gonna be coming towards us. I'm just gonna rotate this so that we stay in the frame. And as I bring it back, I'll do the same thing, trying to keep us relatively in the same spot.
and let's bring it back. Now you can make this go as fast or slow as you want. I'm going slow so that it's easier to track. So with the course, now my battery's low, so you're hearing the beeping. I'm gonna go ahead and land. So one thing that's great with the course lock, as you saw, is that I can go forward and backward and rotate that camera without the phantom changing direction. So it's a really great way to get cinematic shots. Maybe you're getting a shot of um, a house as you're tracking by for a real estate video, or you're getting a, a maybe a game that's going on and you're following somebody. So as you're moving along, you're following them like a dolly shot. It's a great way to get a dolly type shot where a dolly would have been the camera on some kind of either a motorized or a, or a, a human powered carriage. And as you're going by, you would track the camera. Well, now with the Phantom, you can do that same type of movement, but you can do it much easier with just this equipment. Um, it's a really great, it's a really great mode. It's one of my favorite modes that there is. This and the point of interest I really love. And then other than that, I just fly, you know, in just a free mode all around. Those are really the two modes that I use the most, but a really great, easy mode to use. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, comment below, ask me any questions. If you have any ideas of how you use course lock, maybe some creative ideas. So in the last video, one of the people commented that they use this at either it was a police department or fire department trainings to, they use the point of interest mode to record some training that's going on. Awesome use case. So if you have any great ideas of how you've used course lock, post below, maybe post a link to a video, whatever, show others how you've used this so that they can get some ideas from you. A few ideas, you know, for me, you can do this as a tracking shot past a house or a real estate video, as I said previously. But uh, one of my favorite modes, if you have any questions, ask me. If you have any ideas of other videos that you want to see, ask me. So BillNichols.tv, again, will be the website coming up soon. Until then, it's my YouTube channel. Subscribe so that you'll get comments. I have a, a playlist in the left-hand side in the cards of all the other Phantom videos. I'm also giving away a custom Micro Raptor case with a custom foam. It's a backpack case combo. It's an awesome case. Look at the other video to see that. If you comment on that video, you'll be entered to win. Then I'm also starting a Lightroom Zero to Hero series. That first episode is going up soon. It's going to be 20 to 30 videos uh, bringing you from being a Lightroom beginner all the way through. In the Lightroom series, I am going to do a couple of edits of photography that I've done with the drone so that you can see how I edit, how I take photos with the Phantom, give you some tips and tricks on taking photos with your Phantom, what are the best modes, what are the best resolutions, etc. And I will show you how I edit my videos on the Phantom. So Bill Nichols, thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, anything, like, share, subscribe, and I appreciate the time that you've taken to watch this video.